don't think the nuclear sector is fully balanced yet, um, although we're making good progress. Even though I see more and more women involved in nuclear science, this is definitely a good thing. Unfortunately, in the real nuclear world, we are still a minority. At university, we were not very numbers. So. If in your class there are 250 people and then you realize that only 10% of them are women, well, then you, at some point you start asking yourself some questions like, what am I doing here? <laughs> There's always somebody that's going to make you feel like you don't belong there, but um, it's how you take it and how you approach it that it's, it's going to make a difference. When you meet people for the first time, they don't always have a very good um, idea. They, they, you don't start off good with them. You start off low and then you have to prove you're worth it. And, and that can be quite challenging. For example, uh to make inspection sign nuclear power plant. I, I had the uh, experience also of some colleagues telling me, ah, yes, but it's not a matter of women. It was not always easy to be in the uh, male-dominated world. Yeah, it took me some time to become confident. I think, um, I think we embrace the issue, and, and, and for this I'm very proud to be part of the NEA. The gender balance at NEA is uh, quite impressive. Uh, when you see the senior management composition, um, it's quite uh, diverse. And that has not been the case in the past you know, 25 years as I've gone through the nuclear industry. I was really surprised when I first arrived at NEA to see so many women working in the nuclear field. I mean, coming from a minority, uh, in my studies I was always part of the minority and seeing so many women was very surprising at first, uh, especially in leadership positions, um, since most of our heads of divisions are women. You know, heads of my division is my daily role model because I can observe how she manages the team and how she gives us feedback, motivates the team to work together, make all of us united. Seeing is believing. It's important to see women in leadership positions. This confirms to the next generation that their aspirations are achievable and they are realistic. Role models and mentors are so important for setting the expectation that female leadership should be normal and not an exception. So we know that the data shows that role models are especially important in adolescents for encouraging young women to pursue studies and careers in STEM. School-age girls and boys, we know that they perform more or less equally in math and science. However, in adolescents, studies show that girls express less confidence and interest in these subjects than boys do. And really that's why we started the NEA International Mentoring Workshops. Uh, I had the pleasure to participate in the first mentoring workshop that was organized in Japan uh, in 2017. For some girls, it was a, a night opening experience uh, because they, there was a lack of the role model. Some of these kids, these girls are so smart and some of the questions that they were asking was so relevant um, and it was, it was the most uh, rewarding thing I've done at, at, at NEM. Students can interact informally with high-level mentors, so they can discuss a career in science and technology. It, it can help to demystify this world also. And uh, mentors can exchange on uh, their own uh, real, uh, real life experience. And, and, and many of them, they, after the meeting, they were very excited. They said, oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's great. Um, and and I, I realized it's actually really, really important to reach out to the younger uh, generation and, and to make sure that they have all the information they need. And with this, they can make an informed decision about what they want to do with their lives and careers. We can distribute this information that, look, we're a woman, we're working for nuclear. It's a good example. The issue is that uh, it is not given equal opportunities at the um, uh, earlier steps to women. So they will never be able to reach uh, um, such kind of uh, representativity if we do not start earlier, like at the high school or even uh, earlier. 
Overall, uh, NEA encourages its members to explore ways of attracting, recruiting and training young women in science and technology in general and the nuclear sector in particular. And this uh, mentoring workshop is a big step towards in numerous occasions, I received very positive feedback from our members on these mentoring workshops. And obviously, we hope to organize them in other countries as well. Our stakeholders also say great things about our meeting rooms. Each meeting room at the NEA is dedicated to a different woman scientist. And when we have visitors, it's always a nice surprise. Well, the, the first time it is very su surprising. But I think it is a good idea to dedicate these rooms to these uh, famous uh, women scientists. I was actually um, quite impressed when I first came to interview. Um, the, it was the main conference room and, um, you know, you looked around, they were all male and then you see the pictures and incredible women that have given us the opportunity to, to be in a position we are right now. So. It's, it's very encouraging to see that. And I personally have discovered many of them. I didn't know them that well. So, so it was actually very informative. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it's a, a good way to, to show uh, that the nuclear industry also owes a lot to uh, female nuclear scientists. If I had to pick up my favorite, I think that would be Lise Meitner. Uh, meeting room. She is the symbol, really, of nuclear. Uh, yeah, she she was the first scientist to to theoretically understand the the fission process and to describe it. You know, when you think about nuclear, women have been contributing to this field uh, since the beginning, and uh, it's it's important to recognize that and to give opportunities for people to realize that we have uh, as much capability, as much uh, technical knowledge. The women, they, they bring their expertise, they bring their knowledge, they bring just like the men. So uh, women uh, can play all the roles and should play all the roles. Uh, and we have uh, a lot of examples to, to prove that uh, women and men could have the same role and the same position. I think women can play an important role in nuclear war, including develop developing national strategies, regulations, new technologies, and uh, promoting cooperation. There are so many different jobs in nuclear fields. Women are especially equipped to solve uh, problems and to come up with solutions, especially in the situation when fresh eyes are needed. And the nuclear world is in such situation now. Uh, and I think women bring a new perspective to the nuclear sector. And that perspective is an important, uh, diversity in thought is the most important part. Uh, and this is not just gender, ethnicity, all those things matter. So it's uh, to have a balanced organization, you have diverse in opinion, and that brings you success. Now bringing diversity of thinking to problem solving enables innovation and creates optimum solutions. Gender balance will be a key component in enabling diversity of thought and it's fitting that we address this challenge now as we celebrate the International Day of Women and Girls in Science. The world needs more women in the nuclear field. We know that more must be done in this area and we look forward to exploring new paths. Doing so will help build a better future for our economies, our societies and our planet.